Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a plan with me in my brand new plum paper planner. This planner, I was just given this planner and I am absolutely in love with it. Um, and I'm excited today to show you a little bit about how to use happy planner stickers in your plum paper planner. So one thing I love about all of the planner community and just planners in general is there is no rule on mix and matching and finding the things that you love. And I'm excited to share with you today on just how to do that. If you are new here and you missed a video earlier in the week, there is a giveaway going on for your very own customizable plum paper planner. Um, you get to pick your inserts, you get to pick all about it, and I did a full flip through on that, so you may want to check that video out and enter before it is too late. But I am so excited to get started today. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me back. I hope you consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the fun, and I can't wait to get started. All right, so one thing about the, if you're new to plum paper planner, um, you get to pick pretty much everything about it. So you get to customize your inserts and your month start date. And so I obviously started mine in August so I could use it right away, but I did just get the planner. Um, so I am kind of just now getting into it and doing some stuff in it and kind of figuring it out and seeing how I'm gonna use it and what I wanna use about it. Um, so we are going to be doing the first week's plan with me, which actually probably by the time you're viewing this, it will already have started, but I definitely wanted to get into it and start right away and not waste any time because it is such a fun planner and I'm so excited to just kind of see how I'm going to use it. One thing about this planner is it's very much already, um, how do I want to say this? It's already kind of busy in and of itself. It's very structured and very separated, so you don't have to do a whole lot to make it feel fun and super, super functional. So that's what I'm really excited to do, um, is just really make it feel extra, extra functional and keep track of those really important things that I need to do. So, all right, so primarily today, I'm gonna be using the Boss Babe plan, uh, Planner Sticker Book, the Neon Lights, and the Encouragement. These are obviously all three happy planner. I'm not sure they're all pretty older except for the encouragement one. So I don't know if these are still on the market or not, but Boss Babe has been one of my favorite sticker books. So I like to get in there and use as much of it as I can um, and see just how it will work. It'll work for me. So of course, again, one thing I feel like gets unnoticed a lot is people feel like just because a sticker book or sticker theme or whatever wasn't made for any planner does not mean that it's not functional in every planner. So I don't want anyone to think like, oh, I can't use my happy planner stickers to um, decorate my plum paper planner. Quite the opposite. I feel like any creative person kind of knows that the more you start learning about your planning style, you may find that you like multiple different multiple different types of accessories and that's like that's great you know the more the merrier whatever works for you is what works for you but I've always felt like happy planner stickers have been superior to all other stickers and I'm definitely not going to um, let that go unnoticed in plum paper because I still love the happy planner stickers and I'm excited to use them in this plan. So one thing I love about it they have these little what I like to call mystery sections. I suppose you could use it for whatever you want to use it for. But for me, I feel like I want to um, kind of keep track of a few extra to, like weekly to-dos, maybe things that you need to really just kind of focus on for the week. And then also over here, um, just kind of put more like my mission, what I'm considering like my mission statement for the week or things that like are, I'm going to have drive me in um, for the week. So those are the things that I'm going to kind of put in those empty sections. And one thing you are working with is more of a green coloration in this particular um, planner. And I did pick the colorful one. They have a neutral, but of course I'm a huge fan of color. So I decided to go ahead and pick the colorful one. And because of that, we will have to deal with the fact that there's a little bit of color in it. Yeah, 
it's a super, I'm, I'm really thrilled with the whole planner style in general. I feel like it's a really neat idea and you can easily incorporate um, anything that you would really want to use it for without having to, look how good that looks. You can't quite see it as well in the camera, but it looks really great. Set goals. Um, you can really customize it to your heart's contentment. And so it's a really fun way, just like you can do with a happy planner. And it's a little bit more structured of the ability to like, if you know what you like and you know what works for you, go ahead and get your planner like set up that way. And then you are good to go for the future of, you know, whatever you might want to use it for. Oh, okay. Of course I have a coffee sticker because let's just be real. That's everything. That's everything to me. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows I love coffee. I'm so excited. And see, this is just one section that I'm going to be doing a plan with me on. We're going to see how this one, how this copy works for me. It's definitely part, part of my planner lineup, and I'm excited to reveal the entire planner lineup to you very soon. But right now, um, I'm still working through that, so I honestly don't know myself. You'll be the first to know once I figure it out. So one thing about me, <clears throat> some people are super, like, really structured in their planning and their plan with me's, and they know what they're going to do before they even do it. Um, as far as sticker coordination and stuff's concerned, I never have any idea. I never sit down and I like, I just start flipping through. I pick books that speak to me sticker books as I'm deciding. And I just go straight from there to planning. I don't, I don't think that much. It sounds so awful, but I just don't. Um, and so I like to kind of get in there and figure out what's going to work and then see from that what, what I want to do. And so from here, um, you know, if you're like, why is Megan doing that? Well, I just never know what I'm going to do. So just want to, just want to warn you. I just never know. All right. So one thing about this planner that I've really grown to love in the very short time that I've had it is that, um, they have the weekends kind of spread out like like one column for both weekends to fit more room in the boxes of your week. And I love that because my weekends never are the same. They're more like spontaneous and not as much normally takes place in them for me or less structured things. So even if there's like a checklist or things like I want to accomplish, like it's a whole lot less structured of a day. So I love that they have them a little bit smaller and kind of can a be a little bit more customized for that kind of the week because that's where I focus a lot of my attention is on the week. Weekends obviously are still very fun, but um, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of stick to the greens, blues, and blacks, I think, for the most part, if I can, in coordination and see how that works for me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all works. I might throw a rainbow in there, but. And because it's lined, these work really well. They're obviously not even probably as necessary because you already have the lines. So um, you may not need all of those, but I love that you have the space to really, again, color it up with some of those. It just makes it that much nicer to be able to do. I might move that one though. What if I can find a third? It's getting moved. It's getting moved. Treat yourself. The rainbow's cute. The rainbow's really cute. Uh, long. So what I'm actually going to do with this one Is put it here to remember. This is kind of a two day reminder, so it works out really well that it kind of encompasses both days because it will bleed through both days very, very well. Again, I don't know that I'm going to be able to completely stick to these color schemes that I have in general, try to set out for myself, but um, I'm going to do my best and see how it works.
love it. Guys, I'm so excited. This is like so fun. It's always so fun trying to figure out how to use a new planner for your lineup in the way that's going to work and be most functional. And I love it. If you hear like clanking on the ground or clanking in general, it's my puppy. She's roaming around seeing what she can get into. And she was crying at the door before I started the video. So I had to, I had to bring her in or you were just going to hear a puppy the whole time trying to get in, trying to figure out how to get in to me. So. All right. So what I'm going to do now, since I moved that one is instead of doing the hearts, I'm just going to do little circles for Day, and I'm going to kind of match the same amount ish ish. And again, what I want to, I've said it like before and I'll say it 150 times more about any planner but there's no one rule for what's going to work for you and how you know things are going to fit your style and your preference and I don't want you to feel as though there is a limit in that so please continue to experiment and see what works for you but don't let it hinder you from trying if you have a lot of accessories for one planner and you want to you know maybe try a new planner out that's great. Just try. Just give it a shot. See what you think. See how it feels. Um, you know, it's not going to harm anything to give it a shot and see. And at the end of the day, it's, you know, it may be a little bit of an investment, but you can always gift it to someone if it doesn't work for you. Or, you know, a lot of times reselling it, even if a planner has a little bit used in it, um, someone will buy it from you if it's in pretty good condition and half the price of a normal, plan, you know. So don't feel like you're losing out if you want to test some stuff out. I love being able to test some stuff out and see what works for me. It is the only way you can keep things functional is if you know, I mean, unless you have something you really love and you know it's going to work so well that you're not concerned about it, do not be afraid to try new things. I'm really, really, really serious. Do not be afraid to try new things. Yeah. So cute, guys. I'm just loving this. I feel like it's turning out so happy and fun. Just like a great way to like start a new week. And I'm loving how it's turning out. I feel like it's going to be a really fun um, planner to use. And I'm really excited about it. We'll see. I mean, I know the time is still young and that, you know, I make, I might change my mind on some of the things, but right now. I'm super excited about it. So anyone who knows me knows that I love all the coffee stickers ever in all the world. And I really, really, really want, always have to have a place for a coffee sticker or two in my spreads. Always. Um, it just doesn't work if there's not. It feels as though I'm betraying my planner if I don't have if I don't have some coffee stickers. So I always try to incorporate them in some form or fashion to see what's gonna work best. All right, you can. Life happens, coffee helps. It's not really sticking, I like the you can one. It's not really sticking with my um, color scheme, but do like this so I'm gonna do that again I've asked this before I'm fairly certain this would be just your like normal habit tracker that you use throughout the week or that's what I envision it being used by but I would love to know if you have used this planner and you have any tips for this layout of just how things work please let me know what you what you use I love I love 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 ideas I love keeping track of things and I feel like it's gonna be super helpful to have your tips and tricks oh gosh crooked I don't really, I'm not like a super sticker, um, I'm not really concerned for 
stickers being sized just perfect, but, or, you know, like being crooked. But in this case, that was too much of a square box to, to really, to really do. Well, guys, I think it's shaping up to be a super spectacular, stellar, stellar fan with me here. So I'm going to finish up with a few little things. Um, one is I always like to have a little bit of encouragement in every week. So I'm going to find a couple good spots to put some encouragement. One is, which of course you can is one and tapping your confidence. I don't know that I want to fill that up with just like that, but I feel like we need to put, let's put a cake on here with this little thing. Yeah, look at that, guys. That is so fun. I am so excited. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there before I get too overwhelmed by it. I'm really excited for how I'm going to um, incorporate this into my planner lineup. Again, stay tuned for that video soon and just kind of figuring out what this new normal planner lineup is going to be. But this is definitely going to have its space in there and I'm excited to share some more with you. So uh, again, don't forget to enter that giveaway video while it's still going on. You don't want a, a chance to not, you don't want to miss out on this great planner. You have 12 months. You can start your start month whenever you want. And then you have additions. I added a bunch of different um, meals, sales, fitness, brainstorm notes. You can really customize it to what fits your needs and your desires. And, and it's so beautiful. And I just love it so much. So um, thank you so much for joining me again. Enter that giveaway. I cannot wait to see you on the next video. We're going to dive deeper into accessories. So bye, everyone. Bye.